Okay, so let's talk about this cat crawler that they had out there. So this is a, uh, the Caterpillar 60 is what they call it. Now, back in the early days, in like 1920, Best actually manufactured a crawler like this. And then, so Holt and Best got together in 1925, became Caterpillar. And um, I mean, from here on out, Caterpillar has just been like, wow. I mean, think about all the construction that's gone on in our world today with Caterpillar. And, um, you know, way back then, um, you got to think, these guys were doing a lot of work with an old tractor like that, four cylinder. This tractor weighed about 20,000 pounds. I mean, think about it. In 1920, what can you think of that hauled a tractor like this? They had to drive it. They drove this thing from job to job. Think about it. So get up in the morning, you're like, hey, I gotta go to the next job, but it might be 15 miles away. This thing only goes a mile an hour. You spent a day or two just getting the tractor there. So there was no fences back then. Think about the barbed wire fences now we have and the property lines, they didn't care. They just took it right across the closest, fastest direction across and they made it there. And um, so there's a lot of cool history with these old tractors that people don't know. So this old cat is just pulling along. This, this P&O plow is behind it. It's a six, six bottom plow. So it actually drops individually down on the ground and you kind of drop them in a series and there's three of us on there so it made it kind of easy because we're only we each had just two levers a piece but I can only imagine what it had been like back in the old days when there's one farmer and he's farming and he gets that old cat running locks it in crawls down there and sets the plows down himself and goes down and, and then he, he jumps back on the tractor and keeps it straight. Or if he's lucky, he's got his wife or his kid out there helping him. You know what I mean? But it really, you know, it, there was four of us running this piece of equipment and it was still a lot of work. So I can imagine back in the old days, I mean, that, that you could do though. You could, that tractor goes slow enough that you could jump off it and go back there and, and set your plows in the ground and you could go to work on it. So. But it was pretty cool to actually, you know, hand set it down in there. You could feel it grab the dirt and actually really start to turn the dirt over. And, and uh, you know, this old cat, it just, it just got down in the ground and just pulled it. It was really cool.